One of my online kettlebell clients wanted some help with how to incorporate a mobility work into his warm-up. So I made a video for him and showed him a whole bunch of different movements and exercises that would be a great addition to his warm-up. Hi, I'm Ryan Jankwitz, the owner of RJ Kettlebell. And I use my online kettlebell programs to help men and women lose 10 to 15 pounds, shed their spare tire, and build lean muscle so they can fit better in their clothes and move like they did in their 20s. So I'm gonna show you the warm-up uh, drills that I showed my client. These drills come from a combination of primal movements, uh, becoming bulletproof, and just things I've learned along the way. I'm gonna do it slowly enough so that if you wanna follow along with me, you can. So we're first gonna start in a seated position, the legs stretched out, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna start with some ankle mobility. Let's do some nice big circles with the ankles. If you have any grinding or cracking in the ankle, just keep going, eventually it'll smooth out. And then of course, reverse direction. All right, next we're gonna work on opening up the hips. So we're gonna cross the ankle. So one knee is down, one knee is up. And with my arm, I'm just gonna press out against the knee, lift the chest up, and then switch sides. And cross the ankles, press out against the knee, lift the chest, good posture, and switch sides. And switch one more time. All right, next we're gonna lay down on the ground and work on the hamstrings. This is called the windshield wiper. So you're gonna open up your arms, keep your shoulder blades pinned to the ground, lift the feet off the ground with the knees bent, then pivot your hips, extend the top leg out, get into the hamstring calf, and then switch sides. And you can do anywhere between like four and 10 reps total whatever feels good. And then from here we can do glute bridges. We need to activate the glutes, get a big driver in the kettlebell movements. You can do anywhere between like three and five reps. All right, from here, we'll roll over the stomach, prop yourself up on your elbows. Just do some easy head nods up and down. Movement of the head stimulates your vestibular system, which is your, helps with your balance. And you can look over each shoulder, going side to side. Okay, next, we'll incorporate some yoga. We'll come up into up dog. So we're squeezing the glutes, shoulders are pulled down away from the ears. From here, we can go into down dog. Really trying to press the heels to the floor, neck, is nice and relaxed. And you can pedal your legs back and forth here if you'd like. All right, from here, we'll shift forward to a tall plank. We're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, coming into a deep lunge. You can hold here for a couple seconds and we'll take the left hand, open up to the sky three times, get some nice rotation. And then we'll step back and switch legs and hold for a few seconds, get a nice stretch. Then right hand coming up to the sky three times. You will step back into the tall plank and you can hit some push ups here. Okay, we're going to drop the knees and we'll do some rocking. So you want to keep the head up, chest up, back nice and straight, and just slowly rock back and forth. This feels really good on the knees, hips, shoulders. I like to do about five rocks. All right, from here we can do some coordination by crawling. So we'll start, keep the knees on the ground. So coordinate your hand and opposing leg to move together. Go four steps forward, and then four steps backward. You can make that a little more challenging by coming up to your hands and toes. Again, opposing limbs work together. Four steps forward, four steps backward. Okay, we'll come back to the tall plank. Take your feet out to the width of your squat stance. Walk back to the bottom of your squat. Feet are flat on the ground. Lifting the chest, prying the knees open with your elbows. Then you can walk back out to your tall plank 
and then walk back in to the bottom of your squat. Pry the knees open, lift the chest. All right, so that's a sample uh, mobility workout that you can follow along with if you need some ideas on how to warm up properly. If you have any questions about mobility work or kettlebell training, please send me a message. Stay strong.